Hi everyone. Um, I've had a few people ask me about um, my nursing college. Um, I do attend Marion University, which is in Nashville. Um, it is a satellite campus that is in Nashville. Um, and I'm currently in one of our simulation rooms, but to answer y'all's questions, um, it is an ABSN program, which means um, me passing all of my classes, I can graduate in 16 months. So as long as I've already had a pre, I have a previous a BSN, which I do. And so with this, I am just, um, I'm in nursing school. And so um, my, I have taken, I'm currently in fundamentals, um, pharmacology, um, we had health assessments, which is a didactic or lecture class, as well as um, a clinical fundamentals. You also have a clinical um, and didactic, didactic class. You also have pharmacology, same, didactic and uh, clinical. And we also have community health. Um, we had nursing concepts and a few more, a few more things. Okay, and I'm back. <laughs> and we also have a uh, community health as well. I'm probably missing some, so forgive me if I am. Um, but the first semester, um, I would say it's probably the hardest semester um, because we have a total of nine classes. Um, you do not have a choice, you have to do it. Um, it is a lot, but I'm halfway through my first semester and I can say that um, I'm maintaining. You definitely have to find your flow um, of everything and once you find your flow it takes a little while to get your flow because you have so much to do like you have no time to yourself I will be honest you have no time to yourself um, your whole life is nursing school um, but that's okay because you know it's only for a limited limited amount of time second semester is easier it picks back up in third and I heard fourth semester is just a whole bunch of writing but we have literally been in the hospital doing clinical rotations since like the third week um and it continues us being in the hospital at least once a week um well we're in the hospital every day um for a class but when it comes down to like actual clinicals like actually dealing and interacting with patients we have been doing that since the third week so um me, I do my clinicals on the endo and renal floor, so endocrinology um, and renal patients, patients on dialysis. Um, I do have a lot of um, palliative care patients, um, which those are, you know, for those of you that don't know, palliative care is someone who's um, dying, so we're just keeping them comfortable. Um, I think hospice would kind of equate to the same thing, but like palliative care is just in the hospital where hospice is um, in a like long-term care facility or the home. Um, but palliative care just basically keeping people comfortable. Um, I do, I see a lot on my floor. It is a med surge floor. Um, so I see a lot on my floor. Um, I see a lot of heart, um, renal, patients like um could be in stage where they're pal on palliative care but um i see a, a broad range of things um they had a patient who had a pe which is um a blood clot in the lungs so and my cousin gave me some useful advice because she's a nurse she said if you ever have a patient that is continuously passing out and there's no explanation or rhyme or reason to it to order a D-dimer test because more than likely um, there is a blood clot in their lungs. Um, and if it dislodges and hits their heart, it's over. They are dead. Um, and she's had patients to where that has been the case. And that's just active nursing on her part, which you will learn in school that active nursing is basically just um, learning from if not mistakes or just encounters because you learn as you you know certain things but you have to like actually 
interact and be a nurse. And there are things that you are going to run into over time and say, okay, I already know what that is and I know how to deal with it. We as nurses, we cannot diagnose a patient, but we have our NANDA diagnosis, learning to write care plans for the patient. Um, it's the whole intricacy to it, but um, there's intricacy to it. If you're interested in NANDA, it's N A. N D A, and those are nursing diagnoses. So we see what the problem is, and out of all those issues that's wrong with the patient, we have to make a selection. Um, we have to do a care plan for the patient as well, long term, long term, and short term. So I would just say that if you are interested in learning nursing or taking nursing, um, the program is high. Not gonna lie, it's like sixty thousand for. Um, a nursing degree and you you earn it for sure um, it's not easy but at the end of the day like that's going to be more you're going to when you become a nurse you're going to make more than 60,000 a year you know what I'm saying so like the pros outweighs the cons you just got to get through it and so um, I'm con I'm happy that I'm continuously learning um, on a daily basis and that um, I'm able to, you know, do these videos and hopefully like um, it's be helpful to y'all. So if y'all have any additional questions or concerns, feel free to reach out or, um, you know, because uh, we're all in this together for whatever reason they turn nursing school into a competition. It shouldn't be a competition. We should just be competing with ourselves to do better than we did previously and to do the best that we can do to take care of these patients. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for the love and support. God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day.